What's an NFT and can you make money by trading them or by investing in Ethereum or similar? Let me explain. Well, it's a non-fungible token. Okay, wow, big mouthful. What does it mean? Well, if you take something that's exchangeable one for one, then like Bitcoin, you can have one Bitcoin for one Bitcoin. You can exchange it. Okay, then that is a fungible token. If you've got a non-fungible token, it's unique. And what we're really seeing here is that the art world is being digitalized. So think, you could actually produce a logo or you could produce perhaps a digital version of Vettel's car. It looks, the image is excited. It really is something that you like. You're a Vettel fan and you want to make sure that you've got that digital image. Okay, well then, the person that created the image, they're the person that has the copyright. They can register it on the blockchain. So think of the blockchain as a ledger. Can't be changed, can't be hacked. So you're registering your digital art, if you want to call it that, your asset. You're registering it on the blockchain and you're allowing then somebody to buy it. You still got the copyright, but you're allowing somebody to buy it via a platform. And normally people would use Ethereum. You pay some gas, if you wanna call that the registration fee. And now you could put it on a site and you could sell your digital, digital asset, your version, the image that you've created. That can be sold. And here's the good news. Somebody buys it and they sell it on, you get a cut, it's like royalties. So this is really big for the digital art world. It gives them an opportunity. They've created great images in the past and perhaps they've given those away freely. All of a sudden, they can make money by creating digital art. And particularly the sports field, in my opinion, is gonna be grabbing this because sports fans will want those images, want to say, I own this digital image. We'll see if it takes off. But certainly, if you want to invest, be careful, always diversify. And really, what would I look at? I'd actually look at Ethereum. Yep, it's rocketing at the moment and it's around 3,000 as I talk. And the reason it's gone up this week so incredibly and perhaps set to go through 5,000 this week, I think it will go through 5,000 in the next seven days. Why? Okay, it's very, very simple. The reason is that people are seeing, okay, there's a great use for Ethereum. So all of a sudden, the crypto that's second to Bitcoin is the one that's increasing because it's usable. And I've always said this is a danger to Bitcoin. Is there competitors? Is there someone coming that has better technology that is more sought after, more usable? Okay, well right now, Ethereum is the one. Okay, that's the trend. Would I put my life savings in it? Nope. Okay, I wouldn't. Would I put a percentage, perhaps, occasionally into crypto? Yep, absolutely. And I do. You make your own mind up whether you feel that Ethereum is going to do well. But I'll tell you one thing. The world's digital. So whether you like it or not, you got to be following digital assets. To be a crypto has a great app, or we have a great app where you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and various other coins like Cardano. They're all available to you. Okay, but don't forget what I really said there. You should always talk to a financial advisor and always diversify your investments. Remember, crypto is speculative. It is something that's a lot of fun. And certainly, we think there's a big, big future for it. But again, as I stressed, you know, always talk to someone, seek advice, don't invest into something if you don't really understand it. Seek advice, and if you are investing, particularly in crypto, look at it as something that's a bit of fun that you might make some money out of. Please subscribe, please hit like, please share the video.